Hey, this is Daniel Norton. Welcome to my studio here in New York City. Today we're going to talk about shadows. So I have my friend Cadence coming. We're going to make some really simple portraits, just a single light portrait using a beauty dish. But what we're going to vary is the way the shadows fall on her and on the background. This is going to help us control mood, contrast, and shape. Shadows are a very important part of how we create our portraits. And I think that when you're first learning about lighting, your first instinct is to get rid of all the shadows. But in fact, shadows can be what makes your images stand out and are strong. The equipment for this is gonna be super simple. I've got a Profoto B10 here, and it is fitted inside a Profoto Silver Beauty Dish. So I'm using silver, because that's what I got, but also because the silver has a little bit of a different quality than the white. Number one, it's more specular, which I think is pretty obvious. But number two, it actually has a, a less of a, a spread. So it's gonna give us a little bit more control when we wanna throw those shadows uh, in a more precise area. Okay, so I got Cadence here. And like I said, we're gonna keep this super simple. We're gonna walk through a few different ways to use shadows to kind of create different mood in your shots. So first I'm gonna start with the, the moody shadow. So if you think about how light works with the inverse square law, the, closest, the closer the light is to somebody, it's gonna fall off quicker. So if we wanna make the shadow kind of be part of uh, you know, her portrait, so kind of on her face and stuff, we wanna get the light close to her and also close to the background. So we'll put you as close as possible to the background. It is paper, so she can't lean on it because uh, that, would be, that would be disastrous. All right. All right, so we're just gonna move in real close. This is a beauty dish, just a simple pro photo. Uh, Silver beauty dish. I've got a B10 in there. And I'm just gonna use TTL to start with. Uh, because of the situation with the shadows, it, it might be a little off and like TTL often is, and then we will just adjust. All right, so I'm gonna shoot like this. She's working her way into the shadow. And we'll take a quick peek. All right, so we can see that it's super shadowy, uh, almost, too, almost too shadowy, right? So we're gonna move the light around a bit more to get it a bit more on her face. That's kind of cool. Though. So let's see, like this. And when you're doing this kind of more dramatic stuff, it's sometimes throwing the modeling light on can help. We can see exactly where the light is falling. Just keep in mind that with a beauty dish especially, uh, the modeling light is not always super, super accurate as to where it falls. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good, but we can see because the TTL is seeing all this gray wall behind, the exposure is slightly off, so I'm just gonna switch to manual. And I will raise my exposure up by one stop. And let's see what we can do there. Kind of working our way into the shot. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Remember, I want it to be dark and moody, so I'm just looking for the base skin tone, which would be right here. And that's really good. So let's work that. Good. Good. And we can see that this again has that kind of mood. You can even see I, I got a little bit of the edge of the beauty dish here to kind of create some little bit of vignetting. And again, there's enough light in her eyes to give her some sparkle. What you don't want to do here is throw like a reflector in there because you're going to kill your whole effect. This is all about the, the shadow. If you wanted more light on her face, you could just work the light around or have her look more at the light. You'd go ahead and look at the light for one, just so we can show how that would work. If you wanted the shadow on the wall, but not on her face, you could do that. But that again, it doesn't have that same mood and effect as this. So. Another way that we can use shadow is to kind of cut out and shape, and you see this a lot in like real simple fashion stuff. So if we have Cadence come maybe like a foot or two off the wall, and I back the beauty dish up. I'm doing that thing that whenever I use a beauty dish in a demo, I always say, don't do this with a beauty dish. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it. So I'm, I'm backing the beauty dish really far up. This is to give me a hard, punchy light, which is gonna give me a crisp shadow. Um, we're gonna get light on our whole body. Again, I'm gonna switch to TTL. Just let it give us a base exposure, and then I'll adjust from there. Okay, that's pretty good actually. So we can see here we've got this nice hard shadow, which is punchy, right? It shows detail in the clothing. And we still have some shadow on the wall, but it's not kind of like overpowering. If you want it to be a little bit more even uh, on her, you could either back the light up, right? The further back you put the light, again, using the inverse square law, the more even it'll be. Or we could use a little bit of fill if we wanted to get a little more light on the shirt. So let's see. Like that. And there we go. So we'll shoot a few like this. I kind of like this as a, like a little bit of a three quarter. 
just like that. Nice and simple, just like that, All right? Pretty shots, got the shadow on the wall. Daniel's tripping over seat stands again. It's nice and crispy, really nice. And kind of the final way that I like to use shadows, the final, the final way, <laughs> is kind of in a more portraity way. So this is, this is more like probably what you're going to do more often. We're gonna take our light, we're gonna put it close to her, but not super close. We're gonna have her stay where she is, which so is not super close to the wall, so we don't have that shadow bleeding into her. And we're just gonna use it for some shape. So I'm putting it at, you know, roughly a 45-ish. I'm gonna get the center of the light above her eyes. So we have some shadow coming down, we want that, right? And again, I'm in TTL. We'll take a shot and we'll see what it looks like. This is gonna be more kind of classic. Yeah, see, now we've got shadow. This is what they call this loop lighting sometimes, right, on her face to give her shape and form, but it's not so like harsh. And again, this one, you might wanna use a fill card or something. We won't for the, for the purposes of this, but depending on the person, you might wanna do that. I'm gonna go horizontal here because, you know, not like that. It just feels right in the, in the moment. And that's just a nice, clean, ooh, like I jumped the light there for a second. Nice, clean portrait. Huh. I'm in TTL and you can see, actually we've talked about this before. When you're in TTL, especially when you're shooting something that's more contrasty, you might get slightly different exposures each time. And whenever I say that, I, it never does it. So here, well, I didn't say it, it did it. So here you go. So well, let's, let's, let's do this, right? For the person that writes in the comments that I should put it in manual at this point, I will do that. So we'll find the exposure we like right there, and then I'll switch to manual. It's gonna lock in the manual settings. That way we should get the same exposure every time. Yep, perfect. And I've just got it on the, the eye following focus and just refocusing as she hits the pose. And simple as that, we've got a bunch of nice portraits, real kind of classic, simple light. Don't be afraid of shadows, right? We want to use them to create shape, to create form, to create depth. But before we kind of get into that, let's have Cadence take a peek at these and see what she thinks. So we're gonna roll this over here. This is like, this is why I have a rolling cart. Right? <laughs> Just in case, you know, when you're filming people in your studio, you want to make sure you have a rolling car. All right, look at this. We have another microphone for you. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's a little tiny microphone. I should give you like a handheld microphone. It'd be really fun, right? Look at that. <laughs> okay, so this is your first time, so no, this is a uh, you, know, you know how to do it. So go up. Let me let me have your opinion. As long as it's a good opinion. As long as it's a good opinion. <laughs> well, What's a good opinion? <laughs> a good opinion is that Daniel is awesome. I mean, they're all amazing because you took them, so. <laughs> I like that one. That's really nice, right? It's got like. Yeah. And that one. Yeah. You're like, no. Yeah, no, I like that one. I, see, I, see, I like the one with the more shadow, but that's, that's me. I'm very shadowy. I'm a shadowy kind of guy. Yeah. That's cool. Also good, right? It's got some mood. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Very I nice. Like, I like that one. Yeah, it's got like a nice, and I wouldn't normally light uh, a female like that, but your face works that well. Well, thank you. She has that kind of face. That one. Yeah. yeah, that is very nice. It's a winner. That's a winner. All right, cool. So I will put Cadence's information in the description so you guys can follow her. <laughs> Be sure to follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. <laughs> And I'll see you next time on set. Hey guys, so thanks so much for watching our video. Make sure you check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.